everybody. Welcome back to Farming with Kels. As you can see here, it's a big welding day. For those of you who have been following along, you already know that the lift assist mount here on the planter broke. So, time to fix that. Dad's been doing some grinding and just getting everything ready here for the weld to hold. Doing the both sides of this side here. My dad does a bunch of welding, but my cousin here, shout out to my awesome cousin, welds for a living, so we're having him do it. <laughs> Dad's working on the far right side while my cousin is grinding and prepping for welding the side that's actually really broke. So these are the plates. They're working on getting those just right to be, of course, put on the planter there for a better hold. That'll be welded on. Without this weld project, our planter cannot be used. It is a major piece, again, of the lift assist of the whole planter. So it is much, much needed. And yeah, so hopefully we're in the field soon with it. Stay tuned, but this is much needed. <laughs> And again, this is our mounted planter, the Case IH 1230 mounted planter. We'll be using it for corn. Just a little oh, bit yeah. of so I covered it. Well, it did weld in there really nice, didn't mm -hmm. it? Good deal. Sorry to that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to these hardworking men right here, both of them. And especially in this video here, I'm learning a lot today and loving it from both of them. Are there any, any welders out there watching this? They're trying to convince me to try it out, so stay tuned. I might just. <laughs> And again, the reason for this, what they're doing there, sparks flying, is so that that plate will hold better with the weld. Got some beads there. Gonna back this up so he has more room to work with there as he has to get underneath for the weld. Alright, one more. 
It's got like automatic lift to it. Or you put the one with on there too, just lift it up. Try to drill them back through. Does that gotta be in that same exact spot? Because kinda. So yeah, if you end up welding over the hole, I'll have to drill through the welding zone. And then it's got enough backer that it'll just sit on here, and that hole will bolt to go through. I think so. I think the switch plane or somewhere. Yeah. No. yeah. So I don't know if we'll be able to drill from the inside. Yeah, I got an angle drill. Yeah, so I can drill from the inside. Try this won't be in the way. No. Be able to drill them two back out. Okay. Yeah, I'll we'll trim them up. So I should trim this one up a little bit, you're saying? Yeah, I think both of them. Okay. Inside too? I think this was fine. Okay. You can throw it back up there after you take some yep. up there, I guess. Okay. Looking great, looking great. So this is a wire fed welder. Instead of like a stick rod, you gotta keep putting it in. So it's wire here. For heavier steel, you need heavier wire. This is a core wire here. Having a bit of trouble with the wire here. Oh, it wasn't wrapped around the wire? So that, yeah, it was. It's just, it's from exploding, it's a little hockey. You know? This is what dad's got, but yeah, there's just so many options out there, especially wire options.
for the weld is cracked a little bit. Yeah, but that's why I already welded this one. Okay. It was cracked, like, yep. I, I chased it, like, way up okay. in there. I suppose with the flexing, it was, uh, yeah, if you want to put another bead over it. Over the Talent, talent, talent. <laughs> I wish I had that skill. Time for me to try. What are you doing, Dad? You're just going too well right along there. <laughs> yep. Or you just go to the edge and snip it. Oh, that was so much fun thanks to my cousin oh my goodness this is dad now i made him try out my cousin's helmet because i absolutely loved it <laughs> final results are in dad got it painted looks pretty sharp ready to hit the field soon <laughs>